A tornado watch in effect. Now, this does not include the Metroplex or a vast majority of North Texas. It only includes the three counties along the Red River highlighted in yellow, Cook, Montague, and Grayson County. That's until 11 p.m. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Nothing is happening right now. We are very quiet across North Texas, minus a little bit of rain here or there. 88 degrees was the high today. The normal 82, the low this morning, 65. It is so humid outside. Dew points in the low 70s. That just means the air is very sticky. If you get air, if you do point numbers above 70, it's very humid 87, but it feels like 93 and it's breezy too with winds out of the south at 21. So here's what we have. See, Weatherford's going to get a, a, a nice little downpour, very brief downpour of rain. This is not what we're expecting to become severe. There's not enough in place for that to strengthen much more than what it is. It'll just kind of pulse up and down here. Pea size hail potential. It's May. Some gusty winds, some very heavy rain, but see how small that thunderstorm is. The area that we're more concerned about will be back here. See these clouds starting to pop up here. This is where we're going to watch for the development of thunderstorms a little bit later this evening. So take a look. There's six. Watch carefully here. There's seven. So there's more forcing available for thunderstorms to develop out here from Bowie down to Decatur and those will slowly drift east at nine o'clock through 10. Remember the tornado watches until 11 for these three counties of North Texas. Uh, so again, large hail, certainly a big concern. Damaging wind gust can't rule out a tornado as well. That's something we're going to monitor all night. Those thunderstorms likely to stay north of Highway 380, which runs between Denton and McKinney. Those are likely to stay north tonight by tomorrow morning. A sprinkle or two, that's it. However, by the afternoon and evening tomorrow, another round of strong to severe thunderstorms, this time for a, a larger area of North Texas, expected to develop. And uh, that'll continue into Central Texas and down by Big Bend. So it's going to be a very wet day uh, tomorrow as we get into the afternoon. Take a look. This is the 7 o'clock hour Friday. See thunderstorms starting to develop. Now, the bulk of the activity is expected to stay west. And by that, I mean, watch how widespread and he look at that. This is so this is such great news. Yes, there is a risk of severe weather, but the drought conditions out in this area in particular of Texas are very bad. So to see this heavy rain and this widespread rain moving to those areas is excellent news in North Texas tomorrow. 40 50% coverage scattered showers and storms. The severe risk again higher to the west and certainly the coverage too. then by Saturday. It's a very widespread rain in North Texas. It doesn't mean it's raining every hour of the day. There will be plenty of dry hours in the morning and even in the early afternoon. But watch as we get into the late afternoon. This is 4 p.m. Pretty widespread rain, some thunderstorms, severe risk really low. It's not zero, but we're going to watch it. There's Saturday evening. It kind of dries out briefly before another good chance of rain on Mother's Day. 70% coverage. There's 12 p.m. So if you have morning plans, you'll dodge just a few raindrops. If you have afternoon plans with mom, it's a little bit more widespread. There's three o'clock in the afternoon, especially our western counties from Graham to Breckenridge, Mineral Wells, Stephenville, Granbury, Tarrant County, Denton County, these areas, pretty widespread rain. And then certainly by the evening, uh, most of us are at least getting some rain on Mother's Day and it's something we need. I know the timing's not great, but one to three inches of rain expected for most of North Texas. Higher amounts to the west, lower amounts to the east where there could only be maybe one to two in far eastern portions of our area. Tonight though, just 72 degrees, warm, buggy and breezy, scattered thunderstorms tomorrow, 86 more scattered showers and storms. Some of those could be severe hail and wind potential. That's your number one concern. There's the next 10 days. Uh, you'll see the pattern stays pretty unsettled the weekend. A, it's not a washout every hour. I know a lot of people focusing on the high rain chances. We are expecting a good chance of rain, but at least there will be some breaks here or there and more rain chances early next week with highs in the low 80s.